can you take us through your team news for this weekend? Has everyone come back from playing for their countries? Well, the, the, the best new is uh, Fabregas. Fabregas now is very well. He he's training uh, with the with the team during the week. So now he has only to 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 improve uh, his physical condition. I think that uh, in uh, in a few days, in one week, uh, we'll be ready to to play. So yesterday there were some problems, uh, fever, so throat for Emerson and Zappa Costa, and a little uh, problem after the the match uh, with the national team uh, for uh, Loftus. Uh, with the, the right tibial, but uh, I don't know today the situation because I have to speak uh, with the doctor. I, I don't know if uh, tomorrow he will be able to to play. I don't know. I have to speak uh, with the doctor. I have to see the last uh, the last training session. And as far as Fabregas is concerned, you don't think he'll be able to play this weekend, but maybe Thursday. But I, I think that. Uh, at the moment, uh, uh, Fabregas uh, can be able for for, for the bench, but uh, I think uh, I want to speak to him uh, because I think that uh, maybe it's better two days of training. There's been a suggestion over recent days that John Terry might join the coaching staff here at Chelsea. What can you tell us about I don't know. The, the last time uh, I have spoken with him, uh, he told me that uh, he wants to play for another season. But I, I don't know now the situation. Uh, I am talking about uh, one week ago, about one week ago. Uh, I don't know now the situation, but Chelsea is uh, his home. Of course. So you you are open Thank to the you. idea. Of course, in yes, of course. What, what would it mean to you if that did happen? I point, uh, for sure, uh, he will be a point of reference for me, for everybody here. I think. Do you think there's a chance? I don't know. Uh, he told me another thing. He told me that uh, he wants uh, to, to, to play. That uh, I don't know, I, I have to speak to him. What did you make of Ethan Ampadu playing for Wales? Many people were, were very impressed by his, his performances. I, I'm very, very, very happy for him. At the moment, for me, uh, is not uh, is not easy uh, to give uh, space to everyone. I have uh, 28 players, but uh, I hope in the future. I think in the in the future I will be able to to give him uh, a space. To give him a space, to give a space to Odoi, to give a space to Loftus, uh, because they are very very young. And they are for sure the, the the future of the club. What in particular does he have to do to impress you to get into the Chelsea team? But uh, in this first period, uh, for me, uh, was very important uh, not to change, uh, especially in the defensive line. I think, but uh, I hope in the future uh, to be able. Uh, to give space to everyone, uh, to every defender. In the first period, uh, as you know, it's very difficult to change in the defensive line. And you play Cardiff this weekend. Um, how much do you know about Neil Warnock? Um, he's, he's not very happy at the moment with Chelsea, I don't think. He would have liked Tammy Abraham on loan. We'd like Nathan Ampadu as well. What do you make of everything that's being said ahead of this match? I don't know. I don't know what to say. 
because uh, it was a player decision. Uh, Tammy, till uh, two days to the end of the market, uh, wanted uh, to stay here. In the last day, there, there, there was uh, an offer from uh, Aston Villa, and Tammy suddenly decided uh, to go there. Um, so I don't know what, what, to, what to say about it. We have to keep moving around the room, Jonathan. Well, just one on John Terry. Obviously, since you've spoken to him, he's turned down a move to play in Russia. So, will you have another chat with him now and try and persuade him? No, it's up to him uh, because if uh, he wants uh, to to play for another season, uh, I think it's right that uh, he he tries to play. But uh, if he wants uh, to, to, to help us, uh, I am really very happy. What have the last couple of weeks been like for you? Has it been frustrating <laughs> not having your <laughs> main bulk of players here? Uh, but I think it's very difficult. It's very difficult for me. It's very difficult uh, for, for uh, every coach. I think also that uh, FIFA has to change something for, for, for the national teams because uh, with uh, four or five uh, international breaks so long uh, is very difficult for us. What would you suggest? But the, 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 the maybe the, the, the best thing uh, to do is uh, to put the matches of the national teams at the end of the season. Mm. Have, you, have you been away? Have you had a break during the No, no, no. I stayed here uh, all the time. From what you've seen in the Premier League so far, which teams do you think Realistically, can actually win the league the title. But at the moment, uh, I can answer uh, City or Liverpool. At the moment, Chelsea. Uh, we need uh, another step, I think, to be at uh, the same level. I think this season is too too soon. Uh, I think, uh, I think so. I hope uh, no, <laughs> but it's very difficult. The gap uh, was uh, 30 points at the beginning of uh, the season, so I think that uh, to, to cover 30 points in uh, only one season is very, is very, very difficult. But uh, I think also that uh, we need to improve. But we need, we, we can improve. Miss, please. You say you need to improve. You you won your opening four games, and only five other managers have ever won their first four matches as a Premier League manager. Where where do you need to improve? But, um, because my feeling is that now we are not a, a very solid uh, team in the defensive phase, of course, and so I think that uh, we need to improve and. Uh, we can improve. Uh, my, my feeling uh, during the trainings is that uh, this team can improve. Cardiff are known for being quite a direct team. Will that be a good test of your defence tomorrow? Um, I think that uh, to, uh, tomorrow will be a very difficult game because uh, mentally the, the match after the, the break is always very difficult. Uh, materially, because uh, we will play against uh, a very physical team. And so I think that uh, if uh, we want to, to gain points, we need a, a very good performance tomorrow. Uh, it's a difficult game for, for, for everybody to play against Cardiff, I think. Is it more difficult because everybody expects you to win? No, because uh, as I said, it's very difficult materially. 
because for us uh, tomorrow uh, is very important uh, to, to, to clean uh, every ball, uh, to play, to have a good uh, the distribution, good positions uh, in the offensive uh, phase, uh, just to avoid uh, counter-attacks. So uh, against a, a very physical team, very, very aggressive, so I think uh, it will be a very difficult test for us. Finally, I was at Watford yesterday and they have a new system for fining players when they're late. It's like £100 per minute. Do you have any, do you have any unusual fines? Just a little bit for, for late. Do you, do you have any unusual? I think it's too much. Eh? No. <laughs> 100 pounds for every minute is too much. <laughs> I, I, as I said uh, in every press conference, uh, I think that uh, uh, my players are professional. So if uh, somebody is late, uh, there is a motive. Okay, match please. Um, Maurizio, you were quoted in the international break talking about smoking and how your father asked you to quit while you were here. Have you managed to quit? Uh, at the moment, no. <laughs> but uh, my father to told uh, me ever uh, told me to stop uh, in the last 20 years, I think. But uh, he is uh, the only one uh, who put me in doubt. Uh, but unfortunately, at the moment, uh, I am not able to stop. Are you, are you, would you like to? Are you trying? Yeah, for one, two years, yes, not uh, no more. Then I, I, I'd like to start again. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so we've only got time for two more. Liam, you're next, and then uh, Simon. Okay. Um, you said just before the international break that you would take this time to think about who you would give the captaincy to. Um, have you made a decision on that? Yeah. No, no, I, uh, I have my idea. Uh, I have decided, but uh, I'd like to, uh, before to, to, to tell you my decision, I'd like to, to speak with the players and I, I'd like to speak uh, face to face uh, with the club. In this moment is not possible, so for the moment the captain is uh, Aspili Cueta and uh, the final decision. I'll tell you the final one uh, after uh, uh, I will be able to talk with the players and with the club. Simon, last question, please. Uh, really, so just to clarify on John Terry, are you thinking about bringing him back as a player or were you we're talking player, about bringing him back as part of the coaching of setup? Back to the, um, the I think. Uh, in the coaching staff, I think. And, and why? Because, uh, uh, as I said before, uh, I want to give space uh, to to the young players. Uh, fortunately, uh, we have uh, very strong young players. Love to Sodoi, Ampadu, uh, and I'd like to give them uh, the right space. And it's probably obvious, but why would you want John Terry as part of your coaching setup? Because, of course, here uh, he's a point of reference, of course. Uh, here uh, is uh, the John Terry home. And so uh, he, he will be very important for, for everybody here, only the presence. <laughs> So, so if he's not, if he plays somewhere else this season, will you go back to him next year to ask him to come back? Uh, it's up to him. Uh, it's up to him. I am very open with him uh, because uh, he is the, the the history of the club. Uh, he have won uh, everything with the club, so it's up to him. Okay, thanks.